welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a Goodwill outlet haul and it's basically a hundred pounds for a hundred dollars um, that's what we picked up today um, if you want more details click on the description bar down below but we're gonna get started like I said this is a hundred pounds worth of stuff we're about to show you so we're not gonna spend too much time on it so we're gonna get right into sports so for sports we got one, two, three, four. We got four bats. So here's one of the bats. It's a Lisa Fernandez uh, fast pitch bat, a t-ball bat, girls t-ball, purple, a wooden Louisville, actually wooden bat, which is hard to find, t-ball bat. Here's a little league, uh, laser Louisville slugger bat. Easton shin guards, and you know, it's ridiculous that these were actually in a bin somewhere. Easton uh, shin guards, toe guards, uh, adult 16 inches. And then we found, you know those like rubber bouncy balls? We found like 10 of them in there. I found six shuttlecocks, that's what they're called, for uh, badminton. We do have badminton rackets. Um, helmet, uh, little league, t-ball, baseball helmet. We found Easton VRS batting gloves, actually the whole entire pair, men's size. We found Louisville Slugger men's adult size batting gloves, both pairs, rare, and then we found the one loner. And then we found a stadium seat. Which I've been looking for. Yeah, it's pretty. So this will get a lot of use with uh, Kayla's basketball games and Chris's baseball games. It's just, it's the one thing that has the back on it. We have a skater helmet for Alessandro because he needed a helmet. It's got a bunch of stickers on it. It's just a style, the skater style. Yeah. Soccer kids, like sized, probably like child sized soccer uh, shin pads. Racquetball, a racquetball, racket. Racket for a. Uh, what do you call it? Racquetball. Tennis? No, racquetball. Rackets. Racket ball. <laughs> we got two rackets uh, for a. It is racquetball. Yeah, racquetball. A little ball. blue, like bouncy. Anyway, we got two rackets and a case. All together, because I figured if I have one racket, when you can have two, just in case nobody decides to buy it. And then we have two steep seats, like camping seats, right here. Like everyone has them. They're uh, I don't know what brand that is, but there's two of them. They're identical. A football, national NFL football, kind of deflated, but I promise Tom Brady didn't touch it. But we'll put some air in it. Kid soccer, size three. A volleyball, just because. Kayla said she wanted one, so we got her one. A kid sized catcher's mask. We have the sunflower seed bucket I kept seeing at Dick's Sporting Goods for like 40, was it $45? Yeah. So I decided to get it. It's got a little handle. It's got in here. We found a pack of six of these uh, wiffle balls for the kids. I found like four of these plastic golf balls they like to hit. I found a camelback bladder, but it's brand new because no one's ever used it. There's still plastic on the ends. Never been used bladder. And then I found about 10, 10 softballs for Kayla. A couple, oops, a couple baseballs. And there's the pitcher's baseball. And a couple more wiffle balls. I think that was. And then another skater's helmet that uh, Alessio saw. This is uh, another gyro, whatever type of helmet. Found a hacky sack that goes in the dark. Coleman lunch bail. You can fit a six pack in there. Six pack of whatever you want. And then uh, another tote lunch bail. A fishing tackle box, and I think it's from like 1990. It's really old, but it's- still got uh, the tag. It's still got the sticker on it. It's got all the shelving. Everything's still there. So. so I think that completes the sports section of the video. I found this purse. There's really nothing wrong with the inside of it at all. It's never been used. To go along with the purses, I found this snakeskin, faux snakeskin. Um, well, it's like a purse. Anyways, 
It's brand new, still has the plastic on it, so this has also never been used. But for the boys, I thought this would be cute. I'm just gonna repaint this and hang it up in their room. Chris found a teal, cute little like bucket thing um, for decorations, because he knows I love teal. A pack of garden flamingos, totally random, and they're still in this like original package. We found several of these um, shoe racks, like hanging shoe racks, and I know um, the boys really needed one. One of them's going to probably to Kayla's room, and then we have an extra one that looks like an accordion. But there's another one, and here's the third one. Um, I found a rug, and seriously, it's like pretty much brand new. There's really nothing wrong with it, no stains or anything, and I thought we could use it for the entryway. So that's that. Backpack that, I don't know if the boys are gonna use it or want it. Uh, I found this really cute little carry-on luggage for the boys. Vintage piece of luggage um, that I thought was really cool. It's probably from the 1970s, maybe even the 60s, but I liked it and some lady was making fun of me because I wanted it and she says that it looks like a grandma would want to use that. A cool grandma would want to use that. So pretty cool. Looks all intact. Found this really cute pillow and all it says is laugh often, dream big, live for the moment. And um, that's probably going to go in my living room. I found this binder. Uh, Kayla always needs binders for school so that's for her. And then a bunch of like water containers, actually water bottles and coffee mugs. So I'm just gonna run right through this. Uh, Kelly Lattes is what it says. Anyways, cool coffee mug, water bottle, another one with a panda on it. Chris's favorite colors. Uh, another coffee mug from Hawaii, looks like. A camelback and these can get pretty pricey if you buy them off the shelf probably what around 16 17 18 20 yeah bucks. and it's teal so we had to have one at least one teal item in the video another water bottle and these you just stick in the wash washing machine and washing machine dishwasher. in the dishwasher and it's perfect yeah. I found this cute little um, money jar and it says beach house Fun. So one day when I get my beach house, um, three DVDs and the kids are seriously into wanting to learn everything. They're little sponges. So um, we have a DVD on tornadoes, volcanoes, and um, avalanche. How do you say that plural? Avalanches. A cute little Halloween decoration. We found a crate and I thought this would be perfect uh, for Chris's record collection, although he can't stack them on top of each other, he can still store his records in here. So if you guys don't know, D uh, Chris is a DJ as well, so that's awesome. <laughs> I found two kitchen um, cabinet racks and these can get kind of expensive especially if you're trying to use them in almost all your cabinets it's stuck right now but it's two separate ones and um, I thought it was a pretty good deal vintage farmhouse from 19 was it 71 yeah 1971 me and Sophia both had one when we were growing up it's got the, the barn doors so that's pretty cool Alessandra really wanted this Monster truck, the Great Digger, he's been around for like a gazillion years, and then a monster truck uh, track. I don't know, it breaks apart and spins a monster truck. If you um, mommies out there or daddies know about Hot Wheels, you know how expensive that stuff can get. Um, I found two pairs of pants. Uh, the first pair are from Massimo. And they're, we really didn't go to buy clothing items because I don't really need any, but um, yeah. They're kind of tealish, light blue. Anyway, uh, found these pair. And then I also found a gray pair by Lee. Um, but they're just another pair of skinny pants. It's gonna be fall soon, so that was my excuse. 
Um, I found a picture frame and it says, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. And still in the package, uh, so brand new. And it's like a, a piece of rock. It's pretty cool, it's like really hard. I found a map for the kids' room and it has like the world and it also has uh, the United States on the back. I really want them to learn their states. So um, that was perfect. I've been looking for one of those. Kids really wanted these. They go to a game that's on the television. It says laser tag on there. No, they're called... Uh, I don't know. Anyway. It's a shooting game. They just wanted it. Last but not least, I found this really cool storage unit. And um, if you're familiar with the four drawer storage units from Walmart. They can get pretty pricey as well. This one we priced at $17.94 and it was just part of our weight. So I thought we did pretty good. Um, but I think that's it. So thank you um, again. And also as a reminder, this was a hundred pounds of stuff for $100 at the Goodwill outlet. And if you go over how many pounds? If you go over 50 pounds at the Goodwill outlet, each pound is 99 cents instead of $1.49. So if you've never been to a Goodwill outlet, basically you just buy things by the pound and the more you buy, the more of a discount you get. So it's a good deal. Thank you for uh, watching my video and hopefully you enjoyed it. So until next time, um, see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Yeah, on vlogs, talk about But not like a video like this. Yep. And there it goes. Those fold out chairs are too.